It's Medicosis Perfectionals once again, where medicine just makes perfect sense. In the previous video, in this glorious biochemistry playlist, we have talked about Korsakoff syndrome and Wernicke's encephalopathy. Today, we'll talk about the mammillary bodies. I think they call them the mammillary bodies because they look like breasts or something. I have no idea. Well, with that being said, now let's get started. So, as you know, pyruvate. In order for pyruvate, which comes from glucose through glycolysis, become energy, we need vitamin B1. This is also known as thiamine. So, let's talk about your brain. If you take a cross section in your brain, this is called a sagittal section across the sagittal suture, you get this. You get here the thalamus. Below the thalamus, you have the hypothalamus, which literally means below the thalamus. By the way, you have only one hypothalamus, but two thalami. Most stu students do not know this, or they forget it or something. This is the hippocampus, all of this. Why do they call it hippocampus? Because if you take a cross-sectional, it's not apparent in this view. But if you take a cross-section, it literally looks like a hippo. I mean like a hippocampus, not the other hippo. Then we have this amygdala, which is like emotions, which what differentiates humans from artificial intelligence. Mammillary bodies. We have two. We have medial mammillary body and lateral mammillary body. Cool. They are part of the diencephalon. What the flip is the diencephalon? It's part of your prosencephalon, which will form your thalamus, hypothalamus, and everything in between. Oh, I don't understand what we're talking about. Okay, we'll talk about this in the next slide. But it's also part of the limbic system, which is part of your emotions. And it has a very, very good memory because it's near the hippocampus. That's why you can go to your grandma's house and smell something and then you remember a girl that you dated in high school. It happens all the time because the memory and the emotions here are robust. This mammillary body connects to the thalamus. Look at this. Look at the name of this tract. A mammillothalamic tract. Beautiful. And by the way, what is a tract? A tract is a group of axons in the CNS. But a group of axons in the PNS is not called a tract. It's called a nerve. And we have cranial nerves and peripheral nerves, etc. Okay, medicosis, but how about the cell body, the soma, all right? A bundle of cell bodies in your CNS is called a nucleus. But a bundle of cell bodies in your PNS is called a ganglion. Do you think I should make a playlist about neuroanatomy? Please let me know your opinion in the comments. Recollective memory. This mammillary body is responsible for memory. That's why when this mammillary body is damaged in Korsakoff syndrome or in Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome, you get amnesia. And that's why when the mammillary body is damaged in Alzheimer's disease, you get dementia, both of which are problems with your memory. Medicine makes so much sense if explained properly, which is rare. In the comment section, please let me know the difference between amnesia and dementia. So here is the story of the development of your brain. This is called the neural tube. You have two parts when you were a baby in your mother's womb. Usually the nervous system develops around the fourth week of gestation. It starts as neural tube, which is all of this tube, and something else called the neural crest cells. The neural tube is going to be your CNS, brain and spinal cord. But the neural crest is going to be the peripheral nervous system, including cranial nerves and spinal nerves, as well as the adrenal medulla, which comes from the neural crest cells. Of course, those peripheral nervous system fibers could be somatic or they could be autonomic. The somatic could be motor or sensory. The autonomic could be sympathetic or parasympathetic. Okay, back to the neural tube, which will give us brain and spinal cord, collectively called the central nervous system. We have two types, two, three, three parts, I'm sorry. Prosencephalon, mesencephalon, and rhombencephalon, or as they say in French, the prosencephalon. These three parts will give us the brain, and then this is going to be the spinal cord. Let's talk about the prosencephalon, also known as your forebrain. It will give us two subparts, the telencephalon and the diencephalon. The telencephalon is the 
cerebral hemisphere and the basal ganglia. Cerebral hemisphere is responsible for like everything, your thinking, your cognition, motor, sensory, all of this. Basal ganglia, purely motor. When you get damage here, such as in Parkinson's disease or in Huntington's disease or in hemibolismus, you get motor problems, not sensory problems. Next, we have the diencephalon. This is the thalamus and the hypothalamus and everything between, including the limbic system, mammillary bodies, amygdala, hippocampus, they are kind of in the middle here. Then we have the mesencephalon. The word meso in Latin is, called, is means the middle. So this is the midbrain, the brain in the middle. middle. What do you mean by middle? It's between the forebrain and the hindbrain. Get your head out of your anatomical sphincter. Next, we have the rhombencephalon or hindbrain. Two types, metencephalon and then myelencephalon. The metencephalon will give us the pons and the cerebellum and the myelencephalon will give us the medulla. That's why myelo means core. Myelo means core. It could be the bone marrow because it's called myelodysplastic syndrome because myelo means the core. By a core, I mean bone marrow in this case. Or myelo could mean the spinal cord because it's in the core of your vertebral column. The word myelo means core. The medulla is just above your spinal cord. That's why we call it the myelencephalon. Don't expect to hear that from your professor anytime soon. Anyway, I'm sorry. Okay, there is a dopaminergic pathway called the mesocortico limbic pathway and now we understand it's a pathway that's going to connect the midbrain meso with the cortex cortico limbic system limbic pathway and this is a dopaminergic pathway responsible for your freaking mode if you stimulate it too much you get euphoria and you could be psychotic but if you inhibit it too much you get anhedonia i don't care about anything life is meaningless it doesn't matter. But euphoria is gonna is like this. I can do anything in life. You can do it, man. Like all of the motivational speakers, they have overstimulation of their mesocortical limbic pathway. Too much dopamine in the system. God help us. So here is a quick joke to remember the brain areas. When you feel entitled and yet that you deserve to receive everything for free just because you are breathing, breathing, breathing is a brain stem function. You are stuck in the hindbrain, the one close to your butt. Breathing is performed by the brain stem. Next, when you yell at me and curse me in the comment section and make an emotional argument that's devoid of any logic, you're using your limbic system and appeal to emotions, which is a logical fallacy. But when you actually take time to think and articulate a good argument and write details and connect the dots together, you are using your prefrontal cortex, part of the telencephalon, which is part of your for brain regardless of what area of your brain or your gluteal region you use to comment below i'm still gonna love you using my amygdala and i will remember your kind words using my hippocampus and mammillary bodies this is just who i am this is who he is in the previous video, I've talked about Korsakoff syndrome. This is a thiamine or B1 deficiency. You get memory problems due to damage of the mammillary bodies, among others. You cannot convert pyruvate into acyl-CoA. The pyruvate will become lactate instead, leading to gliosis, hemorrhage, and bleeding in the mammillary body, leading to amnesia. Also, lactate will lead to high anion gap metabolic acidosis, which will inhibit your synapses. Korsakoff syndrome is thiamine deficiency, which has seven causes alcoholism, malnutrition, dietary problem when you eat just white bread or white refined rice, severe vomiting, mercury poisoning, extreme dieting, and folate deficiency. Diagnosis of, of Korsakoff is by clinical diagnosis and treatment is IV thiamine. And of course, Korsakoff has seven symptoms. So seven causes and seven symptoms. Don't forget, number one is amnesia because you damage your mammillary body, which is responsible for memory. When you get amnesia, you'll start to confabulate to make up stuff to fill in the gaps. My antibiotics course is coming in about 14 days or less. Please go to medicosisperfectionalis.com in order to receive 90% of your 
order on the antibiotics course, please purchase the electrolytes course. And once you get it, you will receive a 90% discount for your antibiotics course. But you got to do this before the antibiotics course is released. There are many students that have got my electrolytes course. All of them will get the 90% discount. Here is a discount to get my electrolytes course. You can use the electrolytes 60 promo code to get a 60% of your electrolytes course. Then you will be on my list. When I release my antibiotics course in about 14 days, you will receive an email from me containing your promo code of the 90% discount. Thank you so much in advance. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Uh, literally, you can now join the tribe by clicking on the button underneath, like just below this video, click on join. For a monthly subscription, you get access to my community tab. In this community tab, I will release some posts exclusively for members who join my tribe. Also, you can follow me on all of these platforms. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.